Dr. Nitsa Alvarez, cardiologist at Tri-County Heart Institute, explains some of the medical terms you might encounter when talking to your health care provider about your heart. I think that we have advanced a lot in cardiovascular disease, and especially in prevention and detection of heart problems. Um, we know that we have very useful tools this day when we can actually do a stress test on a patient and identify if there is a concern for blockages or not. When your doctor recommends that you should go for a stress test, what they probably are looking for is are there any concern for blockages that might not let in the heart receive enough blood flow. We can do a plain treadmill stress test. When a patient hears that is that they're just going to be walking a treadmill and then we're going to be printing EKGs as they're walking. That is a very simple way of identifying patients that might have blockages because as they stress the heart, the lack of blood flow going to the heart is going to create changes in the electrocardiogram saying that there is a problem with the blood flow getting there. There are other modalities like echocardiogram that help us to understand how is that pump working. With the echocardiogram, we take pictures of your heart before the test, and then we make you walk in a treadmill, and then we take pictures right after the stress. Does the heart look weaker after your stress? Is the ability of your heart pumping blood worse now after the stress? Or is any of the walls of the heart moving a little bit sluggish compared to the resting picture? And that's how you can identify the um, possibility for blockages. We also have modalities such as coronary angiogram, which is a term that we use interchangeably. We can say coronary angiogram or heart cath, people refer. It's a procedure that is recommended when your doctor thinks that you might have an artery in your heart that is blocked, which is a coronary artery. It's considered an invasive procedure because we have to go inside your heart. We get access through an artery, and through that, we will inject a dye, which is a liquid that we inject, and then the machine will take x-rays, and we'll be able to see if there are blockages in your heart. That's our gold standard, our, our best way of knowing, does this patient have or don't have coronary artery disease?